first, uh, Rihanna, I want to give you something because you always Aww. give us the music. So I want to give you something. Thank you. And there's inside of bikini and stuff like Aww. that. So when you go to Barbados, you can take a nice <laughs> swim. You. And this uh, is so sweet. It's from the brand Chick on a Mission, and because you have a lot of missions. Oh wow! It's Thank you soothing. so much. You're welcome. Thank you. That was the first video you made. How was that? I remember being really, really, really nervous. I was psyched. I was up super early. Couldn't wait to get to set. I got there, started hair and makeup, and we just started going through the day, going through the day. Every every take was a little challenging just because everything was new to me, but I worked with a great director, Lil X, and he's very good with new artists, especially, because he, he ran me through everything step by step. It's something that you need, the baby come and share my world, share my world. You're signed at Def Jam. How did they discover you on Barbados? Well, first I met a producer. I was introduced to him through one of my friends at school. And she knew this producer. I met with him. We started working on a demo in New York. And we finally finished the demo. We sent it to a few labels. And Def Jam was the first label to call back. They were the most enthusiastic. So I had to go meet and audition for Jay-Z. And after the audition, he signed me right there that same night. And that's how I got started. Wasn't that impressive to be... First time to meet a big celebrity and then have was, to sign? It was my very first time meeting a celebrity and I was really, really nervous. I was really scared. I remember being in the lobby before I met him, just shaking. <laughs> but after I met him, he's one of the coolest people I've ever met. So he made the atmosphere very comfortable for me to audition it. You've been signed by JC in the same time of period as Neil was and Tayara Mari. Can you tell me what does uh, JC expects of you and does it put pressure on you? It does put a pressure on me because I know of, you know, the great work that he has done and people kind of looking at me to do justice to his name and I don't want, I want to make him proud because I, he's an artist that I really look up to and now I have to look up to him not only as an artist but as a boss and I don't want to let him down. So it does put a pressure on me to do the best that I could. You've gone through some big changes since you've been signed at Def Jam. Can you tell me what are the biggest changes you've gone through from St. Michael's Barbados until now you being a superstar? Well, one of them for sure is being away from my friends and family. After growing up around my mom and all my friends for, for 17 years and then moving to a big city with no one because all my family and friends are still in Barbados. So after moving to a big city with you know, basically around strangers, that was the, the hardest thing for me to cope with at first. Are you lonely sometimes? Um, I won't say lonely, but I really do miss my family and my friends. You toured with Gwen Stefani. How was your contact with her? Well, I met her on one of the dates. She is such a cool person. She's everything you expect Gwen Stefani to be. And did you learn something from her? Well, I watched her performance on stage and I really liked her energy and the interaction with the crowd was great. Because I heard Kisses uh, Don't Lie and mm -hmm. it sounds a little bit Gwen Stefani like the, the, the guitarist in the back. Am I right? <laughs> well, growing up in Barbados, I wasn't exposed to rock music. But after I moved to the United States and I started watching MTV and stuff, I, you know, I came in contact with a lot of different types of music, rock being one of my favorites. And Gwen Stefani is one of my favorite artists now. And when I went on tour with her, I was thrilled. And it really helped, it inspired me to do a rock and reggae song on this album, which is called Kisses Don't Lie. But I feel like I've grown five years in one year. How is that noticeable on your new album, A Real Like Me? Well, first of all, we put, it, we put out the album just eight months later. Um, and for no particular reason, we just felt like it was time. We had it done, it was time, so we put it out, it felt right. And I've grown, I said I've grown in five years, I've said I've grown five years in a year, simply because I feel like I was thrown out there into the industry, just coming from Barbados straight on promotor and not really knowing anything. I had no knowledge of the industry, I was totally ignorant and I didn't know anything, but I picked up on a lot and I had to mature a lot. It forced me to think like a woman because it, it calls for a lot of responsibility. What do you like about the industry? I love being able to travel all over the world and um, seeing different places and meeting cool people. I love performing. I just love the fact that I'm able to do 
what I always dreamt of doing. So are you really happy? I am very happy. Mm. What is your favorite song on the album and why? I would have to say, besides SOS and Unfaithful, which is the second single, yeah. it's called Faithful, um, Break It Off. Break It Off. Mm -hmm. Well, you did that a collaboration with uh, Sean Paul. Paul. Can you tell me how the collaboration went? Oh my gosh, it was such an amazing experience working with Sean Paul because just let me explain, growing up in Barbados, like reggae music is our favorite type of music, especially in, in my generation, you know, my crowd. And artists, we look up to artists like Sean Paul and Vibes Cartel, and we love Sean Paul. And we really supported him 100% when he went overseas and did his thing internationally. And for me to come from that island, like worshiping Sean Paul, and for me to come from that to working in the studio with him one on one on a song, such an amazing experience. I remember being in the studio every second, just like, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. And we had so much fun. I went to Jamaica on vacation. We met up there. We went to the studio. And we were working on this song for the re release of his album. And one day he called me. He was like, I know you're working on your new album, so you can have your song for your new album. I, like, yeah. I love this song so much. This is the music factory.